हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट सिलेंड्रिकल इक्वल एरिया प्रोजेक्शन द नेम इट और नेम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्शन इट सेल्फ सेज दिस प्रोजेक्शन प्रिजर्व द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एरिया अबाउट एनी रीजन ओके टू कंस्ट्रक्ट दिस प्रोजेक्शन वी रिक्वायर दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ डेटा दैट इज आर एफ इज वन इज टू टू जीरो जीरो ट्रिपल जीरो ट्रिपल जीरो लैटिट्यूडनल इंटरवल इज फिफ्टीन डिग्री लॉन्गिट्यूडनल इंटरवल इज थर्टी डिग्री एंड एक्सटेंड इज होल वर्ल्ड मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू प्लॉट ऑल द लैटिट्यूड्स एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड्स विद द इंटरवल ऑफ फिफ्टीन डिग्री एंड थर्टी डिग्री रिस्पेक्टिवली नाउ यूजिंग दिस आर एफ वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट आर आर ई वी नो द फॉर्मूला फॉर आर आर ईज रेडियस ऑफ एक्चुअल अर्थ डिवाइडेड बाय आर एफ फैक्टर एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ रेडियस ऑफ एक्चुअल अर्थ दैट इज सिक्स फोर जीरो ट्रिपल जीरो ट्रिपल जीरो एंड वी आर डिवाइडिंग दिस नंबर बाय दिस आर एफ फैक्टर एंड इट विल गिव अस द वैल्यू ऑफ आर आर ई दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर वन मोर एट्रीब्यूट हियर वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दैट इज लेंथ ऑफ एन इक्वेटर दैट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर इट इज टू पाई आर एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पाई इज थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर सो हियर वी आर पुटिंग द वैल्यूज टू इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर इंटू थ्री पॉइंट टू इज द आर आर ई इट विल गिव अस द लेंथ ऑफ इक्वेटर इज ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन सेंटीमीटर ओके सो विद दिस ब्रीफ डेटा इंट्रोडक्शन वील डिरेक्टली गेट स्टार्टेड विद द एक्चुअल कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सिलेंड्रिकल इक्वल एरिया प्रोजेक्शन सो as it is this diagram is very long so i'll require another page for it i'll just keep this page aside we'll refer let it later on okay so we'll directly start with the construction of cylindrical equilibrium project projection and we'll start with the rre that is 3.2 cm i'm showing you again here you can see the rre is 3.2 cm so using this scale you can see here there are markings of centimeters so i am just putting my compass here on 3.2 it way it is matching to the zero okay and now i am putting this at the middle part but the side part of my page and now i'm going to draw one circle okay it can be a circle but actually we required only a half circle okay so i have done with this now what i am doing i'll just mark the center of the circle with the pen that way you can easily identify this is the center of the circle and now i am going to draw one vertical line which should bifurcate the half circle from the main circle okay So this is the one part of the circle that I need. It. So I can rub the rest of the thing, so that way we can easily understand what is going to be do the next. Now I have this protector with me, and there are the degree markings: ten, thirty, twenty, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixty, likewise. So according to our latitudinal interval, that is fifteen degree, we are going to mark. One one point after each fifteen degree. Okay, so you have to just put this center point on this center uh, center of the circle. Match all the lines. This vertical line should be matched, and start plotting the fifteen degree interval points. This is first fifteen degree, thirty, forty five, sixty, seventy five, and the ninety. now from the bottom you can see here this is the 10 and it will be a 15 this is the 30 then it will it should be 45 and 60 and this is the 75 so i have the markings with me and now i'm going to join these points towards the center okay so how i am going to join i just rotate the page that way you can easily understand and it will be easy to me also to join these points so i just hold the scale between these two points and draw the line up to the circle's arc
I'm plotting here the latitudes with the interval of 15 degree that is the given in data set and now the last one in the northern hemisphere is 75 degree okay so likewise one by one you have to plot each and every line with careful margin okay here you required a lot of skill instead of lot of knowledge okay whatever is the skill in handling scale pencil that will reflect in your final projection okay so i am rotating again my page so it will be easy to understand now this is our basic thing that we have to plot it okay so i'll just rub all these markings it is no more needed to us okay now we are giving some name to the points such as the center of the circle should be o and this zero degree marking i will give the name it is as a a okay so from oa line i am going to mark again i am putting this point here on this a point matching the line with oa line and i am going to plot one point for the 90 degree and another thing i am just drawing the line which should be perpendicular to oa line okay exactly perpendicular to this oa line i am drawing one tangent okay so i have finished with the construction of basic diagram one more thing i need to do is see this is the 90 degree point and this is the tangent i have to draw all parallels towards the tangent in this manner see i am drawing it then i am having this 75 degree latitude then i am having 60 degree latitude further 45 degree then i am having this 30 degree and last one is 15 degree so same way you can do it for northern hemisphere as well first one is 90 degree then we are having 75 degree then 60 45 then we are having this 30 degree and last one is 15 degree okay so this is the complete construction of basic diagram on this side of page or on this diagram we can have the main diagram of projection so for this purpose we required this value that is 20.1 this is length of an equator okay so here we are having the big scale with us now i'm just moving the page so accordingly you can identify the point here i'm putting at the a, a point i am putting the zero degree point sorry zero centimeter and in front of that with a straight line i'm just marking this 20 centimeter point and you need to draw a straight line up to this point fine so we have actually drawn our latitude or zero degree latitude or you can say this is an equator fine so one more thing we need to add over here we have to draw one perpendicular line to this equator like this for a reference purpose so our projection is simulated between these two lines okay so now moving further what else we required again get back to the data extent is whole world whole world means the whole circle in one circle there are 360 degrees that we know okay and with the interval of 30 degree 
we know the formula how many longitudes we need to draw is extent divided by interval and this is the extent is 360 degree whereas interval is 30 degree okay so 36 divided by 3 is 12 so we need to divide this line into 12 equal parts so using graphical method we can do this so first thing we need to do this is put the protector over here and mark one 45 degree angle on this direction and put it in opposite direction at the opposite point and again mark one this 45 degree angle in this direction okay so the line should be like this you can see here what I am doing is I am just drawing the line in opposite direction fine so I got two lines with the angle of 45 degree towards the equator okay now the next thing is in my compass I will take any distance preferably I will choose a uh, one centimeter distance uh, because less than one centimeter or more than one centimeter will be uh, difficult to get the idea about 12 parts of the line so I'm just having less than one centimeter okay so one centimeter is okay now what else uh, next thing is you require to do is just put your compass tip at the A, A point and mark one point then second third fourth so i must extend the line up to the marking so that way i can easily get the divisions the last point is at the end of page you can see if it is visible to you okay so now with the same distance in this compass i am holding here Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Exact end of the line here. I got the twelve markings. So I'm just rotating this diagram to understand you. I got twelve markings on this line and twelve markings on this line. So what is next? is to do i'm just having a big scale with me this is the starting point and this is also a starting point so i'm just left these two points i'm starting with the second point towards second point so i'm holding the scale from this point to this point i'm holding the scale between just these two points and wherever my scale is intersecting to equator i'm just marking one point on it so if you get it just see this is second point and here is also second point i am just holding the scale between these two points and wherever my scale is intersecting this equator i am just marking on equator so step by step i am doing the same thing you can just watch carefully
ओके सो यूजिंग दिस ग्राफिकल मेथड वी गॉट द ट्वेल्व पॉइंट्स ऑफ दिस लाइन दिस हॉरिजोंटल लाइन और वी कॉल्ड इट एज अ इक्वेटोरियल लाइन ओके सो हियर आफ्टर वी गॉट इजिली द लॉन्गिट्यूडनल मार्किंग्स ओवर हियर सो नाउ रेस्ट द रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग is marking of the latitudes how we can plot the latitudes so using this compass i am putting this at s point and extending is up to 90 degree point okay so okay now it's matching okay so i am again okay, fine now it's matching with the 90 degree point so i am putting it at the opposite station marking one point above one point below and then again putting back to the a station and just bring back to the 75 degree both the side one one marking should be there again put it at a station and here is 60 degree above and below then we are having 45 degree above and below these points we are going to plot for reference purpose now the second last point is 30 30 and the last one is 15 degree see this is how i am matching the points so now we are having the points in front of each other so it is easy to draw a straight line i am rotating the page to understand how to draw the latitudes so holding the scale between first point and opposite 90 degree point and just draw a straight line in between these two points use fine pencil so that you can recognize the distance between them then so you can identify one more thing in this projection as we move away from equator towards pole the distance between two line is getting squeezed or distance between two lines between two lines is decreased okay so that may distort a shape of the area but it preserves the area actual area in square kilometer or anything unit you have and that is the importance of cylindrical equal area projection and the last point is 15 degree so we have completely drawn all the latitudes over here and now using this markings we can draw vertical lines which should shows the longitudes all the line should be perpendicular to all latitudes because it will form a grid and that grid represents a whole cylindrical equal area projection so now we are having this kind of a grid the vertical lines are longitudes whereas the horizontal lines are latitudes and now we are going to put the markings or symbols for this uh, latitude longitudes
so we are starting from 90 degree the second line is 75 degree then 60 degree 45 degree 30 degree and 15 degree this is 0 degree here I can put no things okay then again I am having 15 degree 30 degree 45 60 75 and 90 degree south okay so these are the markings for latitudes whereas we can start the zero from center line and 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree 120 degree 150 degree and this line is 180 degree west with the same thing in another side 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree 120 degree 150 degree and this is 180 degree east so this is the complete construction of cylindrical equal area projection you can rub these extra lines afterwards also we won't require it so we can rub it but uh, if you want to keep you can keep it also so i'm writing the title over here you need to write the title like this cylindrical equal area projection okay so briefly i am repeating again what we did in this projection is we are having rf we calculate the rre out of it using this rre and formula of pi 2 pi r we calculate the length of equator that is 2.1 centimeter and using this uh, extend interval formula we got the 12 numbers so 12 latitudes we need to draw so this within the, using this data we draw a half circle and then we mark the 15 degree latitudes after each 15 degree interval then we draw one vertical line this vertical line and then we draw the perpendicular line to this tangent then we got the length of equator from a point to this zero degree and then we divide this line by giving the 45 degree angles on each side and divide the line into 12 equal parts and then we draw one vertical line here make the markings using compass in front of each other join the points join the lines with the same distance and we got the latitudes over here and then we plot the vertical lines as a longitudes then we are giving the markings from 0 degree to 180 degree after 30 degree intervals each west and east side here for the latitudes 0 to 90 degree northern and southern hemisphere after each 15 degree interval okay so this is the complete construction of cylindrical equal area projection hope you understand this procedure of cylindrical equal area construction projection and if you have any questions you can drop a question in comment box or else you can drop a question on whatsapp group also thank you thank you very much